and welcome back to another video that I am going to be shooting today. I did a little poll on Instagram to see what you guys wanted to see and it looks like everybody wants to know what's in my skate bag. So not only am I going to do a what's in my skate bag, but I'm also going to be talking a little bit about the Moxie over the shoulder boulder holder, which is a skate bag that I use. So let's go ahead and get into that. All right, guys. So like I said, we're going to go ahead and look at what's inside my skate bag. So let's bring her up. And here she is. All right. So this is my Moxie bag. Um, she is clementine color which is such a beautiful color it's a orangey yellowish but really pretty color as you can see here yeah she's so pretty okay so we're gonna go ahead and get started i'm gonna go ahead and open her up here Right. So typically what I have in this bag is what I travel with whenever I'm going anywhere because I don't skate so much here where I'm at because there's nothing open. We don't really have anything for skating here. So it's really hard to just, you know, take my stuff everywhere. I just have it kind of in the back, in the car, whatever. Uh, when I actually go out of town, this is the bag that I use and this is the bag that I keep one pair of my skates in. Since I travel with all three all the time, I don't know why, <laughs> but I do. So let me go ahead and show you what's the first thing that I have in here. So first and foremost, I keep my safety gear which is my knee pads here and then i also have these elbow pads that i haven't used yet because i haven't really learned how to skate at the skate park too much which i'm working on right now and then also these are the number one things that i have and that i use all of the time which are my wrist guards i cannot go without these because i learned that the hard way i actually fail one day when i was like hmm, well i won't wear them today and that was the worst idea because i messed up my wrist and it still to this day hurts and that was a couple of months ago i would say in october so that wasn't fun <laughs> Of course, like I said, I carry a pair of skates in here. These are my Moxie lollies. These are my pineapple colors, which I showed in the last video. And they are cute. I love them. Okay, so the next thing that I have here is just some extra toe stops. I have some of these in here just in case that I want to switch them out or, um, you know, I know for the most part, when you're at a skate park, a lot of people like to skate with the shorter stem toe stops. And these are the ones that I typically would like to use as well, just because they don't get in the way. And they're, you know, these are really good. Um, the long stem ones, I do have the long stem ones, which are here. And you can see they are longer. And you know, these, you know, if you have them too low, there's a possibility that, you know, you get stuck when you're doing things at the skate park. So that's why I have these. All right. And then one of the really important things to have in my bag is a tool. This is a crab tool. This is a tool that actually came with the lollies and you can see it here. It just kind of has the one for your nut, the one for your, um, like your trucks or your, you know, and then of course this one here for the toe stop. So this one is pretty cool because it has all three. It's not the most comfortable thing to use, especially when you're trying to like get things out and things like that, but it's, it works, right? Um, I have a, another tool that's coming in in the mail. So whenever that gets here, I'll get it. If not, who knows? And I also carry just in case one of these as well. 
this is my this is another tool uh, that I have and it works as well for the toe stop so and anything else really as long as you're careful and you don't mess up your plate like I did on my sheer grip boardwalks and that was not cool <laughs> and one of the last things that I actually have in here that I got from Evelyn Ivy. She's on YouTube as well and I won through her Instagram. I won like a little um a little package that she was doing. She was giving away. I got some toe stops which are now on my new floss lollies and um I got some of these. So this is a first aid kit and it's really important to have something like that especially like if you're at the skate park or even if you're out in the streets right because you have to have your band-aids your first aid kit basically and this kind of has like a whole little thing going on so this is pretty good to have as well one of the things that i haven't bought that i wish i would have is maybe some extra washers and some extra nuts just to have just in case you end up losing um, one of them from your wheels uh, so that's also something that you can keep in mind when carrying in your skate bag one of the things that's really important to me as well let me close this up here is having my speaker so I carry this around with me everywhere. It's just a cool little speaker to have just so that that way when you're out and about skating, you can listen to your favorite music because I find that if you have earbuds in and you know, you're not really paying attention to your surroundings, you could get hurt. So it's cool to have something like this where you're able to listen to your music and enjoy it, you know, with yourself or if you're skating with somebody, you guys have something that you guys can listen to. So that's also really important for me. So that's pretty much it. That's pretty much everything that I have in my bag. I don't have too many things, but you know, I have a couple of other things that I have, but I just don't carry in my bag. So, you know, everybody's different. Everybody has their stuff. And I'm sure as I progress and I get better at learning to be in the skate park and whatnot, then all these other things that might change there might be additions to what i have right now so who knows what the future holds so me, um what i want to so do is go through kind of just show you guys what this bag's about just because um it's very special to me so i actually got this bag for Christmas by my husband who is so sweet and so special because he supports me in everything that I do and I don't know he just always wants to be there for me and so one of the things that he got me was this bag as you can see and she's really pretty she actually reminds me a lot of the lollies just because everything that you see it's like, you know, you have your color out here, you have the M here with the moxie, you have really nice stitching, you know, this is like leather here and you have like this beautiful suede like on the lollies as well. Everything is just so well put together and you can tell the quality is super heavy and you can see here you have another strap on the other side. And you have a hook here so you can hook whatever it is that you want and of course your zipper um, in the inside you have the vintage detail here as well as on the inside of the straps and then on the inside as well you have a another little compartment here with the zipper and so that closes yeah. up like this and it's closed so it's a pretty big bag um the only thing about the bag is that i wish it was maybe a little bit bigger honestly because you can only fit your my skates they don't fit like this they have to be like um a little bit off so they can fit in there pretty well um everything that i showed you is probably the only thing that i can put in there 
other than other small little things that might be able to go into the zipper but other than that it's pretty tight in there um so yeah and it only has one zipper that goes from one side to the other and I don't know about you guys but I know for me I love to have two zippers it just makes things so much easier instead of having to like hold things down and hold it together and then zip it up you know you have more of the like okay well this is closed now let's just kind of put it together right so that's easier for me um, it's not a big deal but it's just something that I would like because I love two zippers on things and that's just me um, so yeah, but like I said, it's such a pretty color. I really, really love it. It even has these like nice little details on the bottom here. So when you're setting it down, it doesn't, you know, mess up. The only thing is, is like too, if you're really worried about buying this bag because it is a couple hundred dollars, um, you can find the exact amount on the website. You're gonna get it dirty. And it's just like the lollies, it's going to get dirty. So if you really mind that it's going to get dirty, then I mean, I would be really careful with what you do with the bag. But if not, if you're okay with it and, you know, you use it what it's meant for, it's for your skates, then, you know, it's, it's a beautiful bag. It's amazing. I love it. It's so nice. And you see another little M right there as well. See it there? Yeah and so that's pretty much the detail of it it's really nice like i said really nice color really nice um stitch work very sturdy and everything and i don't have any complaints about it so i think it's super super nice and it it's kind of reminds me like of a retro style like a little bowling bag you know so it's really really nice i do recommend buying one if you're you know in the market to get one um, if not it's okay any other bag will do and you know it's you could even just get a leash and for your skates and use those as you know to haul around your stuff and just have like another little separate bag to, for whatever else you need so not a big deal all right so one of the other things that I got for Christmas when Oh, well, Christmas <laughs> um, is the Moxie Fun Bag, which is this look here. This is also one that I take with me when I go skating, when I go um, just cruising or even just find a nice spot to skate because it, I can fit everything in here and I don't have to take anything else with me. So this one is the same. It's still made out of that really good leather. It's really solid. Um, has really nice solid pieces to keep it together. It is, you could tell, like it's stitched by hand. Like everything is like just, and it smells, it smells like leather too. <laughs> and so it's nice too. So you have the M here and then you have a zipper here a zipper here and they open as well and you can see the vintage in the inside as well oh just on this one here and then um the only other spot we have it's not up here like you would think but here in the back and that's just black too and then it just kind of goes around your waist and you can make it tighter or looser depending on how you want it and then this comes out here to connect again and there you go this one is really cool because i love to skate with this one and use my and have it there and then just wear it and then you can listen to your tunes and skate around and have fun so that's always a really good thing so this is another one and then on top of that if i do go skating and say i'm just cruising around or whatever i um use this one and instead of carrying that big old bag with me everywhere i'll take this and then i will put like my tool in here just in case i fall and like my toe stop comes off or something 
<laughs> and um, I could put that in there. I could even put a couple of other things in there that um, I might need, like some band-aids or ointment or whatever it may be, just to to have that, right? Um, so anything that you feel comfortable with or think that you might need, you could go ahead and put it in here as well so that that way you're not carrying around your bag everywhere you go, especially say like you're trail skating or something where you're gonna be going a long distance, then I would say this would, you know, wearing a fanny pack of any sort is, you know, the best thing that you can do as well. But I love this thing. It's really cute and they have a lot of funky colors that I love. And I don't know, it's just, it's, I love it. It's amazing. So, so yeah. So basically that's what I wanted to show you guys today. What was in my skate bag, what's in my fanny pack or what I carry in my fanny pack. And of course, if you guys have any questions, you know, leave them down in the comments below. I would love to answer them. And if there's anything that you would like to see, of course, let me know as well. I am open and I'm willing to share whatever it is that I can. And I don't know, let's just have a fun experience together. And thank you guys for being here. Thank you for watching. And I hope to see you guys next week. Bye.